Hi everyone, this is Morgan from 9to5Software. In this tutorial, we are going to find out how to install Aldemont 7 on a server, take a look at some of the best ATM7 server hosting providers, answer your most asked technical questions, and even give you tips on how to play. You can find links to Aldemont packs, launchers, software, and services we talk about in the description. The video is also divided into sections, feel free to jump into any title using the timestamps in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. All the Mod 7, also known as ATM7, is the latest currently available version of the Minecraft mod pack, designed to enhance your gameplay and bring new functionalities. It's completely free to download and install regardless of your Minecraft version and platform. Creating an All the Mod 7 server on any of our recommended service providers is easy and takes a few minutes since it's two years old and has close to 3 million players worldwide. I'll demonstrate the process on Game Team, but it'll be similar whether you go with Apex, Hostinger, or any other hosting provider. First, launch your browser and head over to GameTeam.io, create an account and a Minecraft server first unless you already have an account. Since we do, we'll just log in. Once you're in the control panel, navigate to Modpacks section in the top menu. You can install thousands of Modpacks on your server using this panel with just a few clicks. All the Mod 7 is available on CurseForge, so select Curse Launcher. If you scroll down a bit, you should see ATM7 in the second row. If it isn't there, search for all the mods using the search bar. Click on Version Selector and pick a version you want to play. We suggest playing the latest stable version. Click on Install. Read the confirmation message and click on Yes when you're ready. Installer will run for a minute or two. Don't close the page at this point or you may have to restart the process. When it's finished loading, It'll refresh the page, just to confirm that it went through successfully. Go to Modpack's dashboard again and check the Modpack currently installed on your server. If it's ADN7, you're good to go. Installing it on your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer is even easier. All you need to do is go to curseforge.com and download the CurseForge app. All the Mod 7 and so many others come pre-installed with the launcher. Go to the download page using the link in the description and download it for your operating system. When it's installed, open the launcher and choose Minecraft from the list of available games. Next, click on Browse Mod Packs and scroll down a bit. You should see all the Mod 7 since it's one of the most popular mod packs out there. Click the orange install button right next to it and wait for it to download and install hundreds of mods. It might take quite a while depending on your system requirements. Remember, these mod packs run hundreds of resource intensive mods at the same time, and it means your PC has to pack a ton of RAM and processing power. For comparison, downloading and installing 319 mods took 35 minutes on our testing machine with 16 gigs of available RAM. In the next section, we'll talk about some of your most asked questions, including how much RAM you need on your server for ATM7 and how to allocate more RAM to Minecraft on your local machine. The latest version of all the mods 7 Curse Forge mod pack can be played on Minecraft 1.18. Previous releases, on the other hand, support older versions all the way down to 1.17. For whatever reason, if you still insist on playing older Minecraft, you should check out ATM6, 5, or other versions. All the Movia mod is just another mod that comes with ATM7. It doesn't alter your Minecraft experience, but brings a magical glowing ore that can be mined and melted to craft new types of items. It's one of the rarest ores in the game and can be generally found in desert biomes below eye level 20 and above Y level 170. Game Team recommends at least 8 gigs of RAM to play ATM7 on a server. That number goes higher if there will be more mod packs and mods installed on the game. Also, you'll need to add another gigabyte for every 4 to 5 extra players. You can start with 10 gigs of RAM for 10 people playing all the Mod 7. Is it a self-hosted or a managed server? If you're running and operating your own all the Mod 7 server, you will need to download the new all the Mod 7 release and remove all the libraries, configs, and forge.jar. Then copy the new ATM7 files you have just downloaded. Be sure to stop the server before attempting any change and also back up everything in case anything goes wrong. Updating ATM7 server on Game Team, Apex, or Hostinger is even simpler. Stock your server. Install the latest mod pack version. Start your server again. We've completed the entire process in less than a minute on Game Team. 
Minecraft is naturally a blocky game, however, you can still enhance game visuals using shaders. You may have a little difficulty running some shaders with ATN7 due to various compatibility issues, while others will work without any problems. As of making this video, we had a little trouble running Optifine with ATN7, but removing phosphophylate and bigger reactors from the ATN7 modless solved the issue. If these two mods aren't essential to your gameplay, consider removing them altogether or try an older version of ATM. Of course, you can also wait for an update, which comes regularly. Originally, ATN7 had about 200 mods in its arsenal when it first came out in December 2021. However, as of making this video, it has 319 mods and well over 1,000 quests. It's impossible to list them all here, so there will be a link to the entire mod list in the description.